Now that we know the difference between direct and reported speech, let us discover how to change the direct speech into reported speech and vice versa. All sentences in the first column are called direct speech, they give the exact words of the speaker while all sentences in the second column are reported speech because they give the words of the speaker as reported by another person. When the direct speech is a declarative sentence, the comma and the quotation marks are removed and, in its place, the introductory word, that, is used. When the direct speech is an imperative statement, the introductory word used, is the infinitive form, of the verb in the quoted part. When the direct speech is a yes-no question, involving a choice, the introductory word used is, whether. When the direct speech is introduced by question words, what, who, whom, why, where, when, which, whose, or how, the same question word is used as the introductory word. When the verb in the introductory part of the direct speech is in the present tense, the verb in the reported speech remains the same. When the verb in the introductory part of the direct speech is in the past tense, and the verb in the quoted part is in the present tense, expressing general truth, the same present form is used in the reported speech. When the verb in the introductory part of the direct speech is in the past tense, 
verbs in the present tense are changed to the past tense. Verbs in the past tense, either remain in the past tense, or are changed to the past perfect tense. <laughs>